Hi, and welcome back to the video. I'm Reed. I'm not Reed, I'm Thomas again, still. What do you mean, still? Uh, this is the first time that we're recording the intro, and whoops. I definitely didn't forget to record audio the first time. Sorry. So uh, don't say again, because this is the very first time, right? So I'm... Hi, I'm Reed. Line? In a season where you spend time with family and those you love, like, I am like going your, to be spending time with someone who is neither my family or someone I love. And because it is a Thanksgiving tradition to spend time with, with people that you, love. That you like <laughs> and make delicious food, that's what I'm doing today. Um, so today we are going to be making, do you want to tell them at home what we're doing? I have to give the giggles at first, but I'll tell you in a second. Today we're going to be making turkey cookies, which sounds turkey disgusting. Cookies, they're not made out of turkey, they're made out of cookies. Right, they're, they're cookie flavored, but they look like turkeys. Mm. So, oh, ready yeah. for this snazzy transition? Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so today we are going to be making Thanksgiving sugar cookies. Cookies. Thanksgiving sugar, sugar cookies. cookies. But, you know, um, we're going to be eating a lot of food this holiday season. So I decided that we should go for a, a healthier option. And that we're going to be making keto sugar cookies. Isn't it pronounced keto? Which is... Is it? Is it keto? No, it's keto. I it's keto. It keto. It's keto. So today we're going to be making keto sugar cookies, um, which is just the best oxymoron I've ever heard of. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. Alright, Thomas, so go ahead and start reading off the ingredients. Here, if you want to read that, I will grab it. 0 0.33 cups of superfine blanched almond flour. It's super fine. It says super fine <laughs> blanched almond so flour. Fine almond flour. So I didn't have, I couldn't find almond flour at the store, so we have a brown rice flour, which I figured it's probably keto, because it sounds keto. Let's see. 0 0.33. Okay. I didn't know they used the decimal system. Well, third so a cup is it was made. To say. So the thing was for 32 cookies, which I thought was just way too much. So it had like a choice Not for me. to pile it down. So I did the math. So Not for Thomas Dendo. I'm just gonna do a little more of this. Let me know when you think that's is 0 0.05. You know what? That's that's enough. Okay, we also need work very well. 0 .3, 0 0.13 cup of powdered monk fruit sweetener. Is that what it says? So I didn't get that at all. I guess that's a substitute for sugar. So what would be a good substitute for sugar? I mean, salt kind of looks like sugar. You realize I'm holding two things right now, but I would totally just destroy you. This wasn't even a bit that I prepared. I honestly just forgot this. Really? What do you, you, what do you, you think you, we should do? You don't think that you have sugar like right here? Well, we do have sugar, but it's they're supposed to be keto. So, like, the point is no sugar. How about who cares? <laughs> Tommy wants... Okay, we're using Tommy sugar. Tommy wants... <laughs> okay, these are now... Um, keto... keto what are they? Keto... <laughs> keto keto sugar. Co sugar cookies. <laughs> but they have sugar. Oh, dude, what a <laughs> okay, so it's 0. 0.13 cup, which is, like, a little bit of this. Oops. So I'm thinking... Is that a third of this? Okay, that looks good, right? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, perfect. What's next? Oh, this is the fine sea salt. So I, I couldn't find any sea salt. Well, I'm sure I could, I just didn't want to pay for it. So we're gonna use table salt instead. It says a, a teaspoon. Usually that means a pinch. Just shake until you think it's enough. Like I'll sh So just shake until you think it's enough. Hold on, hold on. No, don't put it, stop. <laughs> okay, I'm sure that's enough. 0.1 cup of unsalted butter. Oh, does the butter have to be melted? Um, I'm sure that's just a recommendation. It's like, um, Just like most instructions. Okay, 0.38 tablespoons of cream cheese. The store that I went to, Giant Eagle, um, not a sponsor. They were all out of, um, regular cream cheese. Like, I'll guesstimate. We'll get some of that juice in there too, because we don't have any liquids. Okay. That looks good, right? 0.38 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. So 0.38. Oh, okay, so that's just that's just this again, right? Although there's no way that it's a third cup. Oh, a third teaspoon. That could have been bad. Uh, I still think you should heat that butter up. The butter does not need heated. Actually, it might. And we should have mixed that stuff first. Okay, so that's a good call. Is this microwave safe? Take the butter out. How long do you think we nuke this? Like no. less than 10 seconds. Like 30 seconds. Some of that Chef Boyardee, put it okay. in a nice 
Uh, we're not supposed to add the cream cheese yet either. <laughs> well, that's good cream cheese. <laughs> I'm mixing the flour and the sugar currently, and then turn the mixer to medium. Then add the butter, one cube at a time. While, while it's mixing, while it. it's mixing, while it's mixing. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That is not dissolving as easily as... Were we supposed to melt the cream cheese? This literally looks like turd and cat litter. Until the dough begins to form large clumps. Dude, we're not getting large. I think we need more butter. I think that's what we need. Okay, so I can do more butter once we oh, add in the scientist. vanilla. Which... No, no, too, too much. That's too, too much? much. This looks so bad. It does. It looks like sand. I, th I think it's the cream cheese, It looks right? like wet sand. I think they were anticipating the cream cheese to be like liquid, which is... That's too much to expect. No, cream that's cheese not. Ingredients. Reed, I'm not trying to be like Debbie Downer here, but I'm pretty sure you should use an actual mixer. Or this is going to be... No, like... look, 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 look. It's starting to clump. Look at that. Like, that's actually like solid stuff. Oh, it smells good too, but that's because you went overboard on the vanilla extract. I think we just need a little more butter. Gather the dough with hands and knead until it just sticks together. Hands and knees? <laughs> no, it doesn't say get on your hands and knees. It says use your hands to knead, K-N-E-A-D, the dough. I'm not, I'm not wearing any pants under this apron. <laughs> The cookies are in the oven, so in the meantime, we are going to be making icing. You're slacking, man. Come on. So to make this icing, remember it's keto, so there's there's no sugar, except we, we did add a little bit of sugar so that there was some flavor. But besides um, there being sugar in it, it is, it is completely keto. So to continue with that trend, we are going to be making keto ice cream. Can we put sugar in this one too? Yeah, I guess okay, that's okay. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some some cream cheese. In an ideal world, it would be. <laughs> Are we gonna put food dye in the cream cheese? Yeah. In an ideal world, it would be. <laughs> Sorry, purple. It would be plain cream cheese. Um, do they add? This? But again, the recipe asked. Giant Eagle, screw you, Giant Eagle, was all out of plain cream cheese. So then we need a little bit of milk, um, which is also keto. Milk is keto. Just all right. So a little bit of milk. Okay. So and then we need a little bit of sugar just for flavor. It is keto. But we are gonna add a little bit of sugar. Oh, and then we need the the food dye, which because it's Thanksgiving, we want to make them look like turkeys. So I think if we do a little bit of every color, yes, then it'll turn brown, right? Is that that works? I might have added too much milk. You might have added too much cream cheese. It's like no, clumps. I think we need more cream cheese. No. Do you think we need butter? Uh, Do you think that's a problem? Yeah, probably. Baking is like chemistry. Well, no, it actually and is. And I and I failed chemistry. It is chemistry. Okay, so the, the icing, it's not working out the way we wanted it to. So, uh, thankfully, uh, my sister had some pre-made. Oh, I can't. I so can't. we're gonna use some of that. So, thankfully, my sister, who is a much better baker than I am, had some cream cheese made already, or some icing made already. So we're gonna use some of that. So fresh bowl, fresh start. And this stuff, it smells and looks good. So yeah, I think- Yeah, man, knock it in there. I think we're in for a treat. It's turning a beautiful brown, uh, just the color I wanted it to. I think my biggest mistake for this video was not writing. Was making the video, a yeah. Script you should have written all. a script, yeah. I didn't write a, I didn't should have gotten me a to do single it. word. I'm known for my word. All, hey, all my other videos, just little, little FYI, have scripts. This one did not. This is done. So this is what the, this is what the icing looks like. What's it taste like? Gray. <laughs> <laughs> So, icing's done, we're just waiting for the cookies to be done. We'll be right back with, what is it? Oh, with decoration time. Hey, we're back. We're the back with cookies. The cookies are completed. The cookies are done, everyone. We have the cookies done, and then we also have the icing. So let's start decorating. See, look. Oh, wow, those are really soft. So I think what we'll do, a little dab down, and then, time to continue. I got sprinkles. Um. And so in the picture, you're gonna see that they asked for M&Ms. Um, These look like plastic beads. Yeah, yeah, so be really careful that you don't spill them because they are open. Um, I shouldn't have chose those. It asked for M&Ms, but I actually couldn't find M&Ms and Skittles were on sale, so I got Skittles. And then it called for candy corn for the feathers, but I couldn't find candy corn. I think it was all sold out from Halloween. So I have regular corn. Do you know how to open this? I think we have a can opener. Just hit it a couple times. Use the sharp end. Do we have a can opener? Yeah, I have. Why did I say we? I don't live here. 
And then normally what you do is drain that juice. But I say give me a sip of that sucker. You're not drinking corn juice. <laughs> Alright, and we have the corn as well. So if you'll see in the picture, I'll put it up on screen. There's kind of like feathers for the corn. I mean, we can just kind of put some corn like that. Actually, it might be better if we just kind of shake it. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of spread that around so it looks like feathers. <laughs> I guess we got that, that full body feather look. Yes. All right, there we go. So we kind of got those feathers and then we have Skittles for the eyes. <laughs> this looks like a maniac's food. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no. And then for the eyes, we have Skittles. And guys, with that, here, camera on me. And with that, we're all done. Those are our... Holly, no Skittles! No, spit up. Well, Thomas, we did it. We did, we did the cookies. It's time to taste test. Are you ready? I am, my friend Reed. You wanna take a bite? Oh, this is a tough decision. Should I choose <laughs> the small one or the big one? I'll get a little dollop of sprinkles too, because that's how it... Just pick it up, just pick it up. What am I, a caveman? This sucks. This tastes like garbage. <laughs> Alright, you ready? How is it with the corn? It tastes like so grainy, doesn't it? It's not spit out level bad, I swallowed. He's still recording. <laughs> yeah. Happy holidays. <laughs>